Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? My name is Dana Tucker, and I'm uh, with DNL Recording Studios uh, right outside of a little town called Montrose in a little subdivision called Leave Harbor. And this afternoon, I'll be talking with Otto Bear from Switzerland, and I'm waving at him. Uh, <laughs> he had a picture up earlier. Guy is just absolutely beautiful, just like you would see in the magazines of Switzerland. And I'm going to show you guys what I use. And the reason I wanted to speak with Otto is he's going to go over the mixing station app with us. I actually have the X32 rack with the S16, and that allows me to basically set up a mobile recording operation anywhere that uh, I want to go or, or need to record. And what Otto is going to do is share his screen. And because they've made a lot of improvements with this mixing station, and Otto, I, I, I know I read it but the mixing station for PC, is that relatively new? Yes, it's relatively new, but it's, uh, he, uh, David, uh, who wrote that program, made a really, really good start with it. It worked everything from the beginning. And I think um, it's since April, May, it's online. You can download it, you can buy it, uh, and you can use it on PC now on bigger screens. Uh, yeah, because I know I have that particular program on my iPad, brother, and I absolutely love it. And it's the same on the PC. The same on the PC. Ac exactly the same. All right, brother. Well, listen, man, I'm going to turn it over to you if you want to go ahead and bring up, you know, and and just let everybody know about about this app. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, I, I got into Mixing Station as I was looking for to control my XR series mixer by the original uh, app from Behringer that is, is not allowed or it's not able to buy from. Uh, and then I got into Mixing Station. Uh, it's the only one who works with for XR, XR uh mixers and x32s and some others uh on on the iphone this year uh he uh, uh the owner of mixing station brought out an uh an uh, a version for uh for the people quite interested in uh <clears throat> that's why i downloaded it and tried it out and it worked right from the beginning and it helps me uh, optimize my workflow. I'm doing right. live sound for some bands, mostly projects, and uh, it's uh, with making station. I'm just happy. I will show you my screen right now. Uh, this is uh, this is my self-designed mixing station, which give me everything I need to work with. And the best thing on it is I can choose whatever I want to see on the screen. And that layout, what you can see here, I've done by myself for my XR18 mixer. Right. And you probably can see uh, the other layout. Looks quite similar, uh, but it's for my X32 or better my M32 rack I have uh, on on tour and guys just so you know what and, and what auto was talking about if you were to sit there and look at your uh your dashboard or look at your actual mixer itself everything you're looking at is is what is identical uh on the actual mixer itself yeah yeah it looks quite uh and if i'm starting here the x x uh it's our edit, the original software from Behringer, and we'll keep them both by size. You will see they're working together too. Uh, but that one is quite uh, special. <laughs> Let me see <laughs> if I can do this. Uh, you can see if I move the fader over here, it's uh, moving the fader in mixing station too uh, on the, uh, the other side. Uh, okay, you, you won't see that. Uh, yeah, I don't know really... if you're using a split screen or not, but I'm. Uh... Mm, yeah, would would help would help yes, uh, but back to mixing station. Uh, 
what are the, the best and the coolest things of it. First of all, uh, what I have here um, uh, on the left is called, uh, these are my layers. Uh, I can have as many layers as I want to, and each layer will give me a different set of faders. And this can be everything. Everything that has a fader can be down here. Uh, all my projects have uh, something in here, and uh, it will give whatever I need. Uh, I can even, with two, three clicks, I can change it, just uh, edit it, add some other faders, like, um, like my FX, FXs, and they are here right now. Uh, and this is just that easy, uh, but I, going to remove them again I don't need it so these are the layers uh, they are helping me a lot with my workflow that I have here whatever I need for that project I'm working on uh, the phases by self can be designed too uh, what I need is the mute button down here uh, I usually need the solo button that I can listen to the name, uh, the colors actually uh, correspond uh, can can be set. Right. Uh, let me see. And I want to bring up another thing, and, and you know, for you guys watching this, a lot of times, you know, when you don't have a full console, you don't have those faders in front of you. So instead of going to your rack or your compact, and you would have to sit there and just scroll through a bunch of screens you know, to get to something here with this particular app, it puts everything right there at your fingertips. Yes, so, that's, I mean, that's one of the best things of it, correct, Otto? Yes, and that was the main goal for me, designing my, uh, my own layout that I have all on here, what I need. And somebody else works a bit different and needs some other controls. Right. It can be done in just a few minutes. It's really easy. To make uh, to make uh, your own layout, we can and, go and in this a bit later if you want to. Well, it was it was one of the things that kind of drew me to it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually sit there and plan your show out, sitting at your house or your apartment, uh, put everything together, and then mm -hmm. once you get there, just literally load that scene or load that show, and then. Everything. I mean, if you know the name of the the guitar player or the instruments, you can you can preset all of this in there. Correct? Yes, yes, you can. But uh, this is actually more done in the mixer by self than in mixing station. Okay. It's, n it's not saved in mixing station. It's saved at the mixer. Uh, in it's it's called uh, scenes. Correct. On the, uh, scenes, on the mixer, yes. yeah, and they are not saved on in mixing station. But you can export your scenes through mixing station onto your PC. Well, you now see, that's what I did. Yes, yeah. I, I did mm. the same thing. And that way, yeah. if I wanted to, to recall that, I would go in there to where I keep my scenes mm. and then it would load it in to, if, if I wanted a particular compressor on a channel or, yeah, or just that, can that load track. It in, yeah. 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 Mixing station will give you that possibility with, with the offline scenes. I don't have any at the moment. I have all set in my, in, uh, in my mixer. Right. And, and that's it, a good will, thing too. I mean, yeah. because you're making a backup of your backup. Uh, mm. you, you, you want to be yeah. able to have it in your mixer. Oh, yes, sure, yeah. And, and also, uh, you're able to keep it in another folder. Yes. Because um, I'm, uh, I'm looking over here at the left, and I see you've got show one, show two, show three. Oh, this and, is... <laughs> <laughs> you, you see here my, my layers? Awesome, uh, yes. Everything a layer changing. always represents what kind of faders are in my fader bank down here. I can have as many layers as I want to, and uh, every layer can have uh, all different kinds of faders. In that uh, layer here, I have uh, some faders from the drums, guitars, vocals, FX returns, but I also can add 
with just a few clicks, I can add, as example, my DCA, uh, let's see, DCA drums. And the DCA is now here. I can move it wherever I like to have it. That's awesome right there, brother. And it's now here. And see, that looks, and when I was uh, referring, uh, this basically looks just like your screen would look on the racks or the, or, you know, the compact and, and, you know, guys, these are for the ones where, you know, you use these uh, types of mixers and you don't have those fader controls right in front of you. And this mm -hmm. is a, a very realistic example of what you would see on that board. Yes, I hope so. Yes. Now it, it, it works for me pretty well, uh, really. Uh, what else is on the screen? Uh, I told about the layers, my fader bank down here right and uh in the middle in the big spare i have my channel view from here i can uh, work on that selected channel i just can select with clicking or with uh, touching the fade or selecting the two there is usually starting with the overview of the channel like uh, is there anything uh, is a gate applied is a eq how to apply compress in here all my sands and I can go into the detail config tab where is my channel comes from uh, what's mute group and DCAs are uh, uh, applied on that channel oh I hope the wind is not too bad it's, it's, it's all right I, I can today. hear I can hear it coming yeah. through but it's uh <laughs> it, there's no problem with that brother yeah low cat low cut and inserts um, it's all here what the what the mixer can do uh, details on my gate, there is no gate applied on that channel, but I can apply it and I can dial it in. And uh, I like the red line. Red Absolutely. line tells me what the channel is doing at the moment. I love that. Uh, the very really visual, it gives you a very visual effect. Very, very visual, yeah. yeah. The same happens uh, on the compressor. It's also the red line is now up here, but if there is uh, some sound going on, you will see the gain reduction here. Okay. Pretty, uh, you really can dial in everything. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I see a lot of guys up there uh, in these communities on the forums, and they, I'm, I'm looking at the sins and then the, the main uh, tab that you have up there. Uh, it's, it's, it's real easy to get confused because you can literally send these signals everywhere. Oh, yes. You know, different we'll see, outputs. We'll different... see this in a minute. <laughs> okay, I, I know because it, it's, uh, you know, pay close attention here, guys, because uh, it'll save you a lot of questions. Yeah, uh, it's, it's on the far right side of my screen are all the possible sends. And uh, I can do fader flip here just with click of a button. Awesome. You see, it's fader flip. It's now on FX1. Uh, I can, I could re, uh, name that FX1 whatever I like to. It's called FX1. Um, in my place, it doesn't matter. Uh, right. And you see which channel is sent with which amount of signal to FX1 or FX2, FX3, FX4. Uh, the monitors up here, uh, they are not dialed in at the moment. Uh, I have subgroups uh, even here. You can see that channel 11, 12, and 13 is on, on the subgroup. Uh, yes, this is the fader flip function. And uh, the great thing is uh, the faders will always get the same color than the bus has. Oh, very good. Uh, for me, usually the, I don't, I don't know how you call them, uh, pink or maroon, I don't know. Uh, you call it's that kind color? of a purplish, yeah. Purple, purplish, pink, purple maroon, good one, I don't yes. know. They got so many colors now, man. Fusion, salmon. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the purple, uh, the faders are always get into the same color like, like uh, the bus or the FX or whatever is. So you really can see it on the first. You and are I see not the, mixing the, the, on main right now. Uh, main left right now you're mixing into a bus right yeah that's... and you've got the solo buttons right there you've got the mute buttons right there yes for uh, for the solo thing i mean i have um m32 rec 
it stays usually on stage signed by the developer you, you cannot change anything in there it's all but but it's all the, all here what you need right change anything this is one element you can have if you like it but you it doesn't need to be here like everything else since the newest version you also can have it separate flying window but this is now it's 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 in uh, it's just a point four. It will be in the next release. Will be in especially for PC is cool if you have two screens and uh, you can do one on one screen and uh, the other thing on the other screen. Uh, you can have separate windows for the channel view. You can have it for how uh, you can see here for the the, the meter view. Absolutely, yeah. brother. I love that meter view. Yeah, the meters, uh, RTA, you can have this all in separate windows uh, and it helps most if you have two screens. You can have uh, the, some on one screen and the mixer on, on the other one. Right. Everything else you can see here on the layout I have done by myself. I can show. Awesome, uh, it, I mean, it, yeah. lo it looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it, uh, it, it works with my workflow. I can show what I have done. This is the way you get into the design mode. Now I'm uh -huh. in design mode. You see, right. three clicks, that's it. That's it, that wasn't nothing, <laughs> man. Yeah. It's got a grid behind it. It looks like you can line things up via a grid. Yeah, it, it, it works really well with, with the grid. If I want to have a new button, like, like that one is here. Look at that. I just uh, say That's drag and drop. Yeah, I just say add button. The button is here. Oops, I'm sorry about that. Just have to grab it right. Move it where I want it. Uh, make the size like I want it. And um, example, uh, that big one could be a tap, tap tempo for my delay. Right. I'll show you how to set this up. Just go and edit that knob and say add action go to my fx let me see oh my eyes are not that young anymore <laughs> i hear you brother my glasses are getting further down my nose as well uh, set the stereo delay and say time and now you can see that uh, it's flickering already and if i go back to my mixer leaving Yes, uh, leaving the edit mode, going to live mode. You see the new, new button here. That and is awesome. You you don't see how I click, but I do. You see that the tempo is changing a bit bit faster now. It's okay. just a matter of seconds to have your tap delay whenever you uh, where you like to have. And and that's what you were talking about your workflow because it, and with these types of mixers. They serve so many purposes. Oh, you yes. may just need the tip of the iceberg, or you may need everything plus yes. that iceberg. You, you you can do so many thousand things, but uh, to that you can work, you need to, you need to know what you have to do, what you want to do, and uh, you have to find your own workflow. Right. And for that, you need to have the right tool. Yes, sir. It's nothing worse than clicking through uh, 10,000 windows uh, to get to the mute button of your DCA. That cannot be. <laughs> uh, now, at the beginning uh, of, the, uh, of the time where they introduced the digital mixers, I know that first I worked with was uh, the Yamaha LS9, I think. Right. I've worked with Yamaha before too, the digital mixers. It came with a, with an instruction manual the size of a phone book. <laughs> At least, yes. <laughs> At least. But I got to know that mixer with the offline app. Ah. Yeah, they, they have an offline app too. You can download it, you can start it. And with that app, I got to know what the mixer is really able to do. Right. And how I can com configure my layout from the mixer on, on the console myself. You had a lot of options there what you could do with the, with the, with all that uh, shortcuts and and stuff but i learned it through the offline app now later mixing on station that works with many many different types of, of brands of mixers correct yeah i 
I think. I, I don't know it. I just uh, own the Midas uh, M32 and the Behringer XR18. But I know there are some Soundcraft supported. The new Wing is supported too. Right. And that, that's supposed to be the new kid on the block. It looks quite good. I love this look. <laughs> 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 if I have uh, if if I have space, I will buy it. But I don't have any space for it. <laughs> <laughs> Boys and their toys. That's what my wife yeah, asked me. She says, uh, "Why just, do you need another microphone?" Ask and it's like, "Honey, every day." <laughs> you you know, I I, I don't, but I want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, brother, I yeah. love the program. I love the way it looks. It's the ease of being able to design your own workflow, yeah. to sure. put in it, what you want, take out what you don't need. Exactly, yes. It takes a bit of a learning curve, for sure. It does. But in the same token, though, you guys have a real nice uh, Facebook community up there. Yeah, uh, I where like People that. that have questions about mm. this, the, the mixing station, and uh, I, I noticed, and that's honestly, uh, Otto, that's how I found you guys. And I'm sitting there looking at these questions, and somebody, man, they're, I mean, they're right there. They're right mm. there giving them the, the answer or the solution or walking them through that process. And, yeah. you know, for a community, that's an awesome yeah. thing. It's like, you know, tech support 24 hours a day. Yes. And uh, David, uh, the owner of Mixing Station, he introduced something new. I will show it here. This is his website. And that's DevCore, that's right. DevCore, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is his company, yes. Uh, and uh, I mean, he's, he's just, uh, just a good guy and he's doing it uh, also in his free time mm -hmm. development. And as you know, the mixing station app is cheap. Oh, brother. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it, it I think is. five bucks for uh, yeah. for the for the iPad app. Uh, the it's PC app much. is a bit is a bit expensive, uh, but it's it's still uh, it's for what you get. It's always worth the money, always. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you see here at example, this is a this is a request I have uh, written. Uh, there are a lot of views in uh, in mixing station. A view is like. Uh, I don't know, let's, let's see this. Uh, a view is an example, uh, oh, the routing. This is a view. The, the routing. The routing, yes. Or okay. every, every FX is actually a view. Uh, and he has a lot of, of views in the whole application. And I asked if it would be possible to make here a square to put in any kind of view I like, just oh, that okay. I don't have to open it in uh, in in a full screen window. It's at the moment it's uh, only possible to have this in full screen, like in so it's in it's your basically like a, a hotkey or a shortcut. Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, no, not really. The, the shortcut is here, uh, or the hotkey is uh, like you yeah, can jump jump direct to the FX. What I, will, what I would love to have is uh, see the ethics like you see the channel view in here. Mm -hmm. Just being able to have a spot always uh, for uh, like the, your delay or what, whatever you want to have in there. This is one, uh, one of the <clears throat> requests I have made. Uh, is he going to uh, give it to you? Uh, I will. Uh, he, he said uh, uh, he had to check some... Uh, some things before he can implement it. If he's going to do it, I don't know. We'll see. Now, uh, all this is computer programming, correct? Sorry? Uh, all this is computer programming, right? I mean, yes. all of this is nothing yes. but ones and zeros. Yes, 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 <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> you lost me at the one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what, what he introduced uh, a few weeks ago is the community. And uh, if you see that one, this is uh, my layout I have uploaded to the community. Oh, and that's an awesome thing because if somebody likes the way that you have it laid out, 
He they can, can copy download it to that, his right? device. He can download it to his device and he uh, has uh, what I have done. He can use a starting point for themselves. Oh, very good. Yeah. Uh, he introduced this uh, uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, let me see how I can close this. Uh, okay. Uh, and everyone is, in, uh, is, is free to share their layout if they want to. Uh, you see, there are already a lot. Yes. It just started. I mean, just a few weeks ago. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and I, I say that because it sounds like uh, David Schumann is really not only taking this to the next level, but he's developing the community to where everybody that wants to get involved with it. And, mm -hmm. you know, somebody comes up and says, well, hey, man, now I want to go out and I want to build my own layout. And if you do this kind of maybe similar job, this would be a real good starting point for you. Mm -hmm. and, and I love that. Well, brother, I'm impressed with the software. Uh, I'm I'm in, I'm impressed with it to the point. And you know, I've been I've been doing this for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And I don't get excited about a whole lot of things. A lot of the new stuff, the new gadgets. Um, I, I pretty well stick to the things that I know and, and the way that I was trained, the old school type of way. But I was truly impressed with this software when I came across it. Yes, so and do I. You add in the fact that your PC and you know your iPads, your iPhones, they're all touchscreen. You've got that finger on the fader feel. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually go over here. And I think there's a button, if I was reading it correctly, where you can actually put those faders on a fine adjustment, right? Oh, yes, where yes. They yeah. don't move near as fast. Yeah, I have here the fine mode, the button here I can activate or deactivate online also while I'm working. Right. Uh, fine mode is uh, the, uh, I can adjust how much the fine mode will uh, react. It's, it's quite, kind and, of, and that's for really getting into some detail dialing in. Yes, uh, you can. Uh, you Sensitivity. Can say the it's 0 0.7 at the moment. I can uh, put it down to 0 0.2. And now you see my mouse. Oh, yeah. Going. You can see the difference. And I can deactivate it, and now the fader goes exactly with my mouse. Uh, and back to the layout. Uh, might some the last few words for it. Uh, everything else you can see I've done by myself. Uh, they are mostly shortcuts mm -hmm. uh, to a certain uh, other view. Like uh, here, the the purple FX one will bring me straight to the FX. Uh, like this is a a, a a vintage room reverb in in that case. So that one will bring me to the plate or the delay. Oh, and very good. What I, what I just found out, it's quite new. You see here. Yes. This is the Wave Designer. I've and, heard uh, about that. Uh, Drew Brashner uh, did a video on that. Oh, the, uh, the Wave Designer. I just love it on drums. Uh, well, you can really, uh, 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 a fluffy kick, you can make it a punchy kick out of it. That's incredible. And, that and one, yeah, that's. But that, what I want to say is, you see here, uh, David has implant, implemented uh, graphics. I hope he will start and uh, implementing graphics also on on that FX, like on, on the hall and the, uh, yes. on, on all the halls and all delays. But and here, uh, down here, I have uh, some shortcuts to the USB player. Can play music here. Uh, can can stop it right here, or can play, whatever. These are all shortcuts. Uh, you can have at least a thousand of, of shortcuts. And you could mixing. do these on those different layers you were talking about, right? You could you could make a layer or two of nothing but no, shortcuts. Don't no, don't mess up. There are layers. Layers are uh, defining what it's in your mixer board in okay. uh, what fader you can see. And they are layouts. They are defining what you can see uh, in here. Where, uh, we can do a, just a quick, short, new layout. You see, I just have one layout. OK. Uh, don't use a second one at the moment. 
but here you can see a starting layout. You see here uh, the mixer or something like this. I can arrange this as I like to. Can save it. So, and now my mixer looks quite different. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is fast, though. I mean, it's... It's really that fast. Uh, as, you, uh, as soon as you get into it a bit, I will delete this. I, I don't need it. I need yeah, it. I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now uh, let's make this to my default. Uh, with that button, you can set your default layout. You even can switch between layouts. It can happen. Um, I used it quite a few times. Let me show this one. Uh, make uh, just a quick short new layout draw a button on it uh, the open layout so go to that layout make the same just put it uh, I'm sorry about that and just so you guys know watching this Aldo just downloaded this program this morning Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this morning. <laughs> yeah, looks like you've done this uh, quite a few times there, brother. <laughs> yeah, you see my normal layout, and uh, if you want to, if it helps, I could just open another layout from here with that one, you see, just switch oh, yes. layouts. I use this sometimes if I have to do some special things. Right. At the moment, I don't have any anything. I any any work in programs. I I, I have to use it. That, that's why I don't have it on at the moment. Right. Uh, but I have done an example. Let me real quick show it with uh, something uh, useful. Delete at something useful is may might be the meter bridge. So make it real big. Yeah, man, I like I like to see game. something. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, with one bloop, I'm on my meter bridge. Oh, There's no yeah. sound going on at the moment, but uh, if I don't want to uh, waste space on that screen for a meter bridge. I just can have it like this, or what you already have seen with right. with that one with the normal meters. Well, I, I love impressive. that ability to do what I need to do for uh, that. I can with that software. That I can uh, design it the way uh, it helps me to get my job done. Right. Yeah, man. And it and that's, does it really. You know, it's like it's like opening up it, it's like having a flat tire on the on the side of the Autobahn. Mm -hmm. And you get out with a uh hand jack and a tire wrench, or you open up your trunk and you pull out a floor jack with a twelve volt impact gun. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that all of a sudden changing the tire ain't that bad. <laughs> makes a bit of a difference, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. It makes a big difference. <laughs> yeah. Well, Otto, I've had a blast on this, man. You did a wonderful job explaining it. It's very impressive. Let me stop my screen sharing that we can see our faces a bit, that I can see in your eyes. Yeah, there you go. Shall I change yeah. my place? I see there's some light behind. You're fine there. It's going to be a little contrast, you uh, know. The we're not Hollywood here. Hey, uh, <laughs> can you can you put the picture back up of your hometown? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, when I saw uh, that, I mean, it's it's just there. It is that one. Look at that. It is the oldest town in Switzerland, actually. Is it really? Yeah, it is. Or they say it is. No, oh. it's it's. Uh, uh, they found some things from. Uh, poo, let me see. Uh, Who? I mean, old, really old. Uh, let me ask my wife. Two shots. 
vor welcher, vor welcher Zeit haben die Sachen gefunden zu Chur? Ja, yeah. they, they, they found some, some things from the Stone Time. It's, is this oh, the right the word? Stone Age. Stone Age, Stone Age, yes. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, would that be correct? The, the Swiss Alps? Yes, Or is it a... in the middle, middle of Swiss Alps. Middle of the Swiss Alps. Yes, exactly in the middle. Like well, brother, I've got is... to go. I've got to yeah. get out of here and I've got some other things I've got to do. It was uh, awesome you, talking you, to you. You taught me so much. It was awesome talking. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, no problem. Uh, this benefited me greatly, and I believe it will benefit others as well. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, thank you, brother. I appreciate that, too.